Hi, Freddy Krueger here. For English 3301, week 13. I figured week 13, Freddy Krueger would appropriate. Well, um, actually, I'm probably pretty hard to understand, so we'll just go with the Freddy hat, but not with the Freddy mask. Anyway, um, so, wow, week 13, coming up on Thanksgiving, really getting it toward the end of the course. Um, good stuff going on here. I really appreciated the way you've made steady progress uh, on your document analysis, working toward those um, reports on writing, and I think you probably have a sense of the way the class is structured. If you do your work every week, you won't have a big time crunch at the end. Um, also, we've been learning a little bit about new media. We've learned about GIFs. We've learned about memes. Uh, we're going to look at infographics a little bit this week. I'm um, going to do something a little bit different uh, with the GIFs and the memes. I just had you do something fun. With the infographic, I'm going to try and have you uh, apply it to the project that we're doing, actually. So I'm going to have you talk a little bit about information architecture. Um, which is a fancy term. It does come from computer science. I have a video for you to watch about it, and it's useful at short. It is a little bit computer science-y, but I think it's useful to understand that the way we organize information, whether it's on paper, whether it's on a screen, or other, some, or some other electronic medium, um, it creates an experience for our reader, and we want to make an easy-to-follow, easy-to-understand experience in all that we write, in all the content we create. Um, so, that was a digression, but the infographic you create is going to describe or show, it's going to be about one of the documents uh, that you are analyzing, and it's going to show what the document is, who would write it, and sort of trace it through the way that it's used, who would read it, what use would that person make of it. So, again, um, we're going to do some, a couple of readings, one about information architecture, one about infographics. We're going to create an infographic, and then we're going to continue our work on um, our report. Uh, we should have analyzed at least three documents. Several of you have uh, decided to exceed the minimum, which is always good if you want to exceed the minimum. Get a grade that exceeds the minimum. Um, and um, got done four or five documents, which is great, even better. Um, and so I'm going to ask you to complete... The draft of the report not the whole portfolio basically step three uh, please read the instructions on the major portfolio assignment um, it is um, there's a very specific roman numeral one and roman numeral two follow this format make sure you cover all of these criteria as well um, include those analysis sheets that you've been figuring out i think they're called 3301 style analysis but the analysis sheet your infographic um, and references if you do that and by Friday, you will upload all that stuff up to um, to the file exchange in Blackboard. Now, I got good news for you. I think it's good news. Um, I am not going to require any work of you all over the Thanksgiving break. So, if you have all your work done, you're all caught up, you have no assignments due on Thanksgiving, none at all. I'm going to go ahead and put up the stuff for the rest of the semester. It's going to open up uh, on Friday the 22nd, this coming Friday. So you'll see what's coming up if you want a preview or maybe get ahead. But if you all your work is done, there's nothing required to be due over Thanksgiving. Enjoy that time with your friends. Enjoy that time with your family. If you need time to catch up, uh, then you've got some time. You've got a whole week to do uh, some extra work and planning as well. So... Um, this week, again, information architecture and infographics, which we've looked at a little bit before. Um, we're going to finish up the draft of our report and up upload everything to get it ready for peer review and file exchange. And then after Thanksgiving, we're going to be doing peer review and then our reflections and finalize the, the portfolio. Um, the vast majority have done good work have written well. I think you've gotten some good in-depth uh, discussions uh, and, and learning about your writing. Uh, you've had some <laughs> hilarious memes and infographics, things I've wanted to share with other people. Some of them I have. I said, hey, you've got to see this. It's so funny. 
um, and you're doing some good learning. Thank you so much. You can probably tell we're coming from the home studio, but, um, well, it's the home studio. Anyway, thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing more of your writing. Thanks. Bye-bye.